now fill up what your ancestors measured. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please all be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Gospel reading today, we hear the woes of Jesus, and these are some of the woes of Jesus. And we're seeing here very strong show of emotion when Jesus said to the scribes and Pharisees, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. And this has not been mentioned only for once, but many times, which means with emphasis, which means he's seriously about it. We have to read the gospel today. He said, you are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. He said, further, you build the tombs of the prophets, adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we have lived in the days of our ancestors, would not have joined them shedding the prophet's blood. A very strong word that we hear in the gospel reading today, mentioned by Jesus for two times, hypocrisy. When here, my dear brothers and sisters, hypocrisy is putting on masks. Because when we put our masks, we can hide something. When we put our masks, we can hide our emotions. Amen. There is no genuineness. That is why you think, you think twice if if the persons they're talking in front would really telling to you with sincerity and with honesty. Of course, the window is the very eye of the person. When we laughed at times when we said that we have to smile when, while taking pictures, but still we can see that the eyes, right? which is serve as still a window where we can see the, the sincerity of a human's heart. But generally, we know for almost two years, no? almost, for how many months, we've been wearing masks. And here we see that somehow when we put our mask on, we can hide our emotions. Amen? That's why of, I think there is a subculture in this time of pandemic that genuineness and authenticity is in fact, um, it, takes, it takes an effort. And our Lord Jesus Christ now is reminding this strong expression towards scribes and Pharisees, towards hypocrisy. And if we have to go back to different accounts in the gospel, Jesus Christ is trying to correct this kind of mentality of the scribes and the Pharisees and the people of his time, hypocrisy. Why? Why? Because when there's so much hypocrisy, there is no what we call congruency or congruence. There is no, um, we see in here that uh, what we see outside is not actually what's inside. And the imagery is very powerful when you said, you are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside. But inside are full of dead man's bones and every kind of filth. In which we see in here the 
the demarcation between our private and personal life. We see in here the congruency of our speech and action. But our Lord Jesus Christ, He made Himself an example where He, he lives His life, His preachings, His words, and His words and life are His, are, are his actions. In which, my dear brothers and sisters, I think for a time, perhaps, we may enjoy and our human tendency but i think to 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 live in in hypocrisy to live in in sincerity or shall we say living in 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 putting masks on on our face i think we can never have a very peaceful and meaningful life because it's true that the only way to live a peaceable life, and that is when we live and set ourselves free from any kind and form of hypocrisy or ingenuineness or insincerity. Only truth shall set us free, as we always say. And I think this is... Uh, our Lord Jesus Christ establishing for us a way of life that we have to follow, not the life of the scribes and Pharisees, that they live a life of hypocrisy. My dear brothers and sisters, we know that the only way to live a more peaceable and more meaningful life is to live without pretensions we don't have to project what we are not because we are still accepted in our community there's a strong tendency of living hypocrisy when we tend to project what we are not because we may not be accepted in the community or we might wanted to 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 leave a kind of standards of living but here, this is a practical suggestion and reminder for us that we don't have to please anyone. We don't have to project who we are not. But let us just live a very sincere life and we will be more peaceable and live a meaningful life. How will Lord Jesus Christ then once again reminding us that the only way to live a peaceful, a meaningful life is to live a life with sincerity. Amen.